Alright guys, so here we are, the video that you've all been waiting for. It's just you, me, my iPad Pro, and we're going to be nerding out about all things video production on the iPad. What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and today I wanted to just chill out for a bit and just talk to you guys about my iPad Pro video editing workflow with iPad OS. This video is going to be focusing on how this new iPad update is a literal game changer for video editors, producers, YouTubers, and just creative people in general. You guys know I've been fascinated with my iPad Pro lately because it's just a one-stop shop that just makes the sometimes daunting production process fun. I've been doing this stuff for so long long and this is just a fresh take on a decades old process. In fact, a lot of what you guys are seeing nowadays on my channel are because of this guy. Videos, thumbnails, photos, they're all because of my iPad Pro. I'm not going to get into doing a, just a full review of the iPad Pro or iPad OS because there are no shortage of them online. We're going to be talking about video editing on the iPad Pro, my workflow, as well as just producing videos on an iPad only. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful. So with that said, it should be noted that even though this version of iPad OS is pretty stable, you have been warned that this is a beta version of the software. The final version doesn't come out until the fall, so if you notice anything weird, out of the norm, or if I run into any like show-stopping bugs while filming this video, just ignore it because this is a beta and bugs sometimes do happen and they are unavoidable. So the first major change in iPad OS that you probably have noticed already is the new home screen over here. Now you actually have the ability to swipe over or pin your widgets from your today view over onto your home screen and I just missed it right there. So whether it be reminders, calendars, batteries, files, what have you, this is a surprisingly interesting way to open up a whole new realm of possibilities. For one, what I would really like to see with the files widget over here, especially since the iPad now officially supports external storage and SD cards, I would love to see this thing pre-populate with all of your files as soon as you plug something in. Similar to like how a finder window pops up on a Mac or a PC. It seems minor, but it does eliminate a step and it just feels natural for those making the jump from the laptop to an iPad. Speaking of files, the app itself has actually been revamped and you probably notice it is in dark mode now. So this makes the iPad stand on its own two feet. Not the dark mode, but the app itself. Now you actually have the ability to open up multiple windows so you can drag and drop files between different places. You can see things in a column view and you can even dig pretty deep into your file file structures now to find exactly what you're looking for. I film a lot of my videos on Sony cameras, specifically my little Sony RX100 that's chilling out over here on the side of the video. So Sony cameras are actually kind of weird when you import footage to an iPad. It's always been complex and just time consuming. Now I can just dig in pretty deep and just find what I'm looking for and just play the footage back. It really is just something that makes me so very happy. Like it's the little things in life that make Ray happy and this is one of them. This just simplifies my workflow so very much. As far as like external drives go and external SSDs, hard drives, I use a Samsung T5. I plug it in. I can view my GIFs, videos, images, everything pop right up instantly. And I assume it's going to be the same for every single other like flash drive or hard drive out there. And if you have like a regular standard USB hard drive, you can just get a dongle and just plug it right in and you should be good to go once you get iPad OS. From there, after managing my files, I actually get into editing my footage. And for that, I actually use LumaFusion. There are quite a few good video editors out there, but by far the best one is LumaFusion. This is basically the closest thing that you can get to Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. It's a professional video editor that gives you six tracks of video, six audio tracks, tons of effects, transitions, color correction tools, and so much. It is a pro level video editor, and there is a learning curve to this. So if you guys want to learn this, I would suggest watching YouTube tutorials because there are like some like little hidden things that you can miss out on. But what amazes me the most though is that the iPad somehow handles layers of 4K footage with ease. You would typically require like a supercomputer, powerful computer to achieve something like that. But the iPad Pro does it effortlessly. It handles it like a champ. It's pretty incredible what you get in this $20 app and it really does a whole lot more than you would expect. You can also import footage from your iCloud Drive, Google Drive. I would love to see you be able to import directly from your SD card into Luma 
LumaFusion or your external SSD into LumaFusion that would iron out so many kinks in this workflow. Like on the laptop, it really is like seamless. At the moment here on the iPad, you do have to do like some workarounds to get it to work. So it's not as efficient just yet. So hopefully here in the future, we will see some new things, especially when it comes to video editing. So after I finish editing my video, I actually edit my video's thumbnail. And as you can imagine, things are a whole lot easier when you edit your photos instead of videos because managing photos is a whole lot easier than managing videos on an iPad. And there are just so many great photo editors out there on the iPad at the moment, but Affinity Photo is few and far between the best one out there. And it really is the closest to Photoshop. You can do layers, color adjustments, a whole bunch of like professional things in Affinity Photo. And this is great. This is the program that I use. And for 20 bucks, this is again, 20 bucks, you can basically do, like I said, all the things that you can do in Photoshop, but you don't have to pay the monthly Creative Cloud subscription. And that is a total win in my book. The 20 bucks that I paid for LumaFusion and the 20 bucks that I paid for Affinity Photo, that's the best money I ever spent because I'm learning new programs, I'm learning new things, and I'm just like changing what I'm doing. You know, I'm changing my process and I'm learning a lot of new things in the process. And for that, you know, you can't beat it. Next, as far as scripting goes, I actually use OneNote. And this here is the script for this here video. And OneNote is a fantastic app that offers a whole lot of features for the low, low price of free. I typically write out all my video ideas, fully script them out like you're seeing here, and even create titles, descriptions, and everything before they hit YouTube. I love that I can keep everything organized in like separate folders and stuff like that. It doesn't get overwhelming. If I wanted to, I could even keep my script up while I am editing the video. Like check this out. We can do a little side by side with LumaFusion and I could edit my video and watch my script over here at the same time. It is so very great. And last but not least, the last thing that I want to show you guys is the addition of desktop class Safari. In iPadOS, the Safari web browser is now the same one that you see on your laptop or desktop, which means every time you type in a web address, it brings you to the desktop version of the site instead of the mobile version. So that means you're getting the full version of YouTube over here instead of the mobile version. And that is a game changer for YouTubers because you can upload and properly title and tag all your videos before before they go live. I am not a big fan of the Creator Studio app or of the YouTube app like for managing videos. It really is kind of difficult. So the fact that we now have a full on desktop class browser on the iPad, that is such a game changer for YouTubers. So basically from point A to point B, from beginning to end, I can fully script out a video. I can import footage, edit a video, create a thumbnail and upload it all to YouTube, all on my iPad. And I think the best part of that is that I don't have to sacrifice quality Quality. It's a workflow that just works. It works great and it works a whole lot better than I ever expected it to on an iPad. So there you have it guys, my iPad Pro workflow in a nutshell with iPad OS. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, you guys seem to enjoy these videos, these behind the scenes videos and I, I wanna know, do you wanna see more? So let me know in the comments box down below. Do you wanna see like video editing tutorials iPad accessory videos, top five creative apps. I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below. So guys, that's about it. Until the next video, I will catch you guys later. Peace.